It's the eyeliner for me, sis. Welcome back, Brookie Babies. It's your girl, Brooke Kennedy, and we are back again with another video. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a soft glam makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Join the family. The family is lit. We have fun. And if you subscribe, you're going to have some fun too. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, Brookie Babies, let's go ahead and get straight into the look. So I've already done my eyebrows you saw me do my eyebrows before if you're new here I do have a video where I show exactly how I feel my eyebrows in every day so go check that out I'll have it linked in the description box below but what we're gonna go ahead and do is prime our face I'm going to use this wet and wow this is the primer serum just do it like this it's just like a serum you would put on your face if you know you use like a vitamin C in the daytime or if you use like a retinol or something at night and I just like to apply it right here. I probably should go all around my face. But for the most part, I apply it where my pores are super, super humongous. So what I'm going to do now is the eyes. So I'm going in with this Jacqueline Hill. This is the Morphe palette. The colors do come on the back. They're all super, super pretty. And mine's is a little raggedy. You know, I've had it for a while. So it's a little beat up in the inside, like super beat up. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we are going to take us a blending brush. This is actually a Morphe brush as well. It doesn't have the number on here, but it came in like a little kit there for my transition color. I'm gonna go in with a soft brown and I'm probably gonna pick up um, one of these two here. I think we're gonna go in with this one here actually. And then I'm just going to put that in my crease area and just blend it through like so. And it's really, really light so you can't really see it. And like I said, this is just gonna be my transition color. We're doing a soft glam, so we don't want the eyes to be too, too, you know, popping. Plus to be honest, like I don't really do a lot of different eyeshadow looks. I will now because I am doing YouTube. I think it will be fun to play in color, but I just do what I know how to do because I feel like when you try to start doing all that extra stuff, that's when you start looking crazy. I said it in my hair video and I'm saying it in this makeup video, do what works for you and do what you know how to do. Okay. Now that I have that pretty much like I like it, I'm going to go in with a deeper color and I'm going to pick up this shade right here. I really like how that looks. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go in my crease, but I'm going to focus more on the outer. So I'm going to start on my actual lid at the corners and then I'm going to work my way into that crease. And if you feel like you're not picking up your color, which you can see the difference from this eye and this eye. You can see it right here. But if you feel like you're not picking up your color, what I like to do is I just like to tap it first and then work it in. That way you can really see that color. Okay, I like how that looks. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other eye. And watch I say this is going to be a soft glam and it's going to come out totally not a soft glam. It might. It might. But. Girl, I don't know how to do no eyeshadow. I'm just going to keep it. I don't know how to do no eyeshadow, baby. I'm just going to keep it real, okay? We just be going with the flow. So now I'm going to pick up that brush, the first brush that we use, and I'm just going to make sure everything is blended. You don't want any harsh lines, and that way we'll actually be able to soften this back up. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. And 
and we are literally going to use three combinations oh i really like how that looks do i want to do this color or that color we're going to pick up this color and we're just going to pop this on our lids and we're kind of going to pat it on there at first Ooh, that's pretty And we're going to kind of trace like we're doing a cut crease, but we're not doing a cut crease. Wow. That's pretty. And we're going to pat it on this side as well. And once you get to the center, you want to kind of lift a little bit and kind of blend it in with that deeper brown that we put towards the lid on the end but i like that can you guys see that's so pretty i feel like on this side we've kind of lost that deeper brown shade or look kind of orange on camera so i'm gonna go back in and pick up a little bit more of that color and pop it on right there just a little bit because I feel like I was kind of losing the color okay and then we're gonna go back in and we're gonna actually blend 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 and then I'm just gonna go over one more time and this time I'm not gonna pat I'm actually gonna just rub to make sure everything is pretty smooth and nothing really cakey that is it for the eyes just real simple cute soft glam you ain't got to do too much girl and then i'm going to go in with eyeliner and the one i'm going to use today is the nyx this one is the liquid eyeliner and this one is that's the point i don't know which one i want to use let's go with that's the point so i'm going to go ahead and pop this on so y'all know putting on eyeliner can be a challenge so your girl got to bring the mirror in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes are on, eyes are completed. So now we're gonna go ahead and hop into the face. What I am going to do first is cover up a couple of my hyperpigmentation. So I'm just gonna hit that one there and these two right here. And then I'm just gonna take this is my hyperpigmentation <laughs> little blender and just basically make sure it's not too 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 much product on there because you don't want that to like blend in with your foundation and your foundation ends up looking yellow i mean orange okay the foundation i am using today is the l'oreal infallible this is the up to 24 hours fresh wear i put it on the back of my hand if i didn't have on this white t-shirt then i would just you know take the product and apply it okay so now we're just going to take us a flat top foundation brush and i'm just going to press that into the skin going to pick up this nyx born to glow this is a new product for me this is the radiant concealer the color that i have is caramel okay yeah that's not bad that's not bad just gonna apply that a little bit to my nose here i'm gonna go ahead and start blending it out with a damp beauty blender the 
concealer on I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this morphe bacon set this is banana rich you guys know if you've watched my previous videos I don't like to bake I don't even think I told y'all that before. I'm talking about if you watched a previous video. Girl, you ain't told them that before. So why are you over here playing like you got like 15 makeup videos out there? Y'all, I'm letting you know now. I don't like to bake. So I just like kind of pat it in to set the concealer, but I don't actually like for it to just sit there. So now that we have set the concealer, I'm going to go in with this NYX. This is the matte bronzer and we're just going to bronze our face. And I am using a F. This is the ultimate blending brush, but I love to use this for bronzer. And I kind of tap instead of rub and I do like to go up. Never go down with your bronzer, okay? Never go down. And now we're going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match. I use this in my everyday makeup video. And the color is neutral. I love me some blush. I feel like it is just a must gotta have your blush girl you gotta add your blush before I get into highlighter lips and actually finishing off the face I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning for my eyebrows I use the NYX um, micro brow pencil in the color espresso and for concealer I use Mac studio finish and the color that I use is NC 45 just gonna go ahead and line my waterline and I'm using the covergirl perfect blend I love this for me. Woo! It's the eyeliner for me, sis. <laughs> oh my god, I am so stupid. So now we're gonna go in with this Milani. This is the Sun Glow Highlighter. And I'm gonna use this new highlighter brush that I purchased and see how it works for me. I think I like it already. Come on, bro. I feel like highlighter just makes the look, especially when you're going for a soft glam. Like, come on, girl. You got to have highlighter. So, highlighter is on. It's popping. It's pretty. It looks good. And y'all know I like to go over my lips. I basically, basically just do my whole on lip because I like to have that little lip line and I'm gonna go in with this NYX this is the espresso lip color and this is that that brown that I love and on top of that I'm just gonna go in with this clear gloss this is from a black owned business the business is called Perry skin I will actually link the link to the business below if you want to check out her products she sells like lip scrubs she sells glosses um some creams i think like body a body lotion and a body scrub but i'll link her um her website in my description box if you guys want to check her out and we're just rubbing together I like that I like that I like how that looks I'm gonna spray my face and I'm going to use this Milani make it dewy because I want this to kind of be real dewy real like mm, just glowy I don't want it to be super super matte even though I have oily skin and I probably shouldn't do this <sighs> bear with me Last, what I'm going to do is pop on some mascara on my bottom lash line. Just like this. I 
All right, rookie babies, that concludes this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and hit that red subscribe button. Turn on your push notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I will see you in my next one.